Welcome to Machine Learning Webinar Series. In this episode, we are going to mention machine learning interpretability and explainable AI concepts. Let me introduce myself first. This is Shefik. I have been working as a software developer for a fintech company since 2010. Currently, I am a member of AI team uh, as a data scientist uh, in here. I received my Master of Science degree in Computer Science from Galatasaray University in 2011. I have a personal blog, my name plus uh, the first letter of my surname, sefix.com. I uh, mostly share uh, machine learning related posts here. And finally, you can contact me on Twitter with my surname. Remember linear regression. This is the formula of the linear regression and here beta values refers to weights and x values refers to features. We can clearly say that beta values are strictly related to feature importance and that's why linear regression is an explainable AI algorithm. Also decision trees are highly interpretable machine learning models. Suppose that that's your decision rules and let's say uh, your decision will be do it. In this case, we can read the decision rules from bottom to top. I decide it as do it because I'm in sound condition and also I got enough sleep and finally I want to go for a jog. On the other hand, uh, in Interpretability and accuracy are inverse proportional concepts. For example, our highly interpretable machine learning models, uh, business rules, decision trees, and linear regression are highly interpretable, but uh, they got a lower accuracy. On the other hand, uh, some algorithms such as random forest, gradient boosting machines, support vector machines, neural networks, and final deep learning. They are uh, lowly interpretable, but they got a uh, higher accuracy. We can say uh, these algorithms uh, are explainable and these algorithms are black, black box AI. Nowadays, we can open these black boxes. These two frameworks, Lime and Shop, help us to uh, explain black box AI algorithms. Here, Lime is a simple and pretty framework. You can understand why a decision is made by your model. On the other hand, uh, Shop is much more complex framework and you can analyze your model with all candidate inputs and uh, you might understand how your model decide. Let's apply SHOP uh, on facial expression recognition challenge dataset. You can find the raw dataset here and also you can find the uh, detailed documentation in this link. You can find the pre-trained model including the structure and pre-trained weights in this link. I have already uh, loaded the model. Let's see the 39 index uh, train set item. And let's make a prediction. Let's find the emotion of this lady. And print the prediction variable. And as seen, there are seven different values. Actually, these values are related to uh, probabilities of uh, all of those uh, emotions. We need to find the maximum one. And uh, numpy.argmax uh, function finds it. It says a uh, five index value is the maximum one. We actually need to find the uh, five, five index value of class names variable. And it says it's price. Let's find the actual value and uh, print both prediction and actual value. As seen, the actual value is price and uh, the model predicts this lady's emotion as price too. The question is that how the model can predict this lady's emotion as price. 
here uh, shop will help us and we are going to use the gradient explainer we need to expand the dimensions uh, as like that the first dimension is number of instances and uh, the second one is the dummy dimension and the other ones are the uh, size of the picture and uh, let's apply the shop uh, on the same image same index image here shop shows the important pixels uh, for different layers for example in the first layer uh, these are important pixels and let's focus on the following layers here uh, as seen uh, lip area is important uh, to classify a uh, surprise emotion and uh, let's see the uh, fourth layer mouth area and uh, eyebrow are important uh, areas for uh, classifying surprise emotion in the uh, fourth layer in this way we can analyze the built models in this case we can say that it's not overfitted we will see uh, the important pixels are located in inconsistent areas for example here now we can say that it might be overfitted independent of its accuracy we can use sharp for tabular or structured data too for example i'm going to apply it for iris data set as you might know iris is a flower and it could be three different classes setosa versicolor and virginica and we are going to build a model to find the uh, class label based on its features these features are its top and bottom lip sizes I have already trained a model and it got 98% uh, accuracy it's very high value for this kind of problem in the previous example we have used gradient explainer or image data here we are going to use the kernel explainer on tabular data let's try to explain the 17th instance in our train set this instance is classified as setusa and its actual value is setusa2 and let's try to explain it here red color refers to higher values and blue color refers to low values or decisions here uh, this instance is classified as setusa because its petal length value is 1.4 and its petal width value is 0.3 but this is a single explanation and we can uh, analyze uh, the build model for all input candidates in other words all training set items for example uh, let's analyze it for setosa varsity color and virginica this graph says that uh, the petal length value closes to 0.3 then uh, it becomes setosa but uh, the petal length value closes to 0 then it wouldn't become setosa class type iris flower this way you can build a map for your predictions moreover uh, you can extract feature importance values for your build model let's find it uh, as seen the petal length value is the uh, most dominant feature in my train set and these are the distribution for over classes and i can also plot the uh, feature importance values uh, for custom classes for example these are the feature feature importance values for setosa class uh, and these are the feature importance values for burst color as seen a petal length value are uh, the most dominant feature in both classes but its uh, importance are different so we have mentioned uh, machine learning interpretability concept at most the sharp framework in this video explainable ai and machine learning interpretability concepts are important topics in machine learning field uh, nowadays we can only trust uh, interpretable and explainable machine learning models to confirm uh, they are not overfitted
Thank you all for attending this webinar episode. I hope you all enjoyed the uh, content of this video. Hope to see you in the next time.